Okay, here's a, this one, this is one that you'll hate. This is about the same, okay. <laughs> Don't worry about that. This is not, this is not American Bandstand, nor was meant to be. If you're nauseous, be cautious. Don't throw up on your shoes, or else you'll have a throwing up on your shoes blues. If you're queasy, take it easy. Don't drink any more brews. Just stay away from those throwing up on your shoes blues. If you must throw up, the floor or the wall or the door. If you're dizzy, kept busy, fill the vessel you choose. Circumvent those throwing up on your shoes, blues. If your luncheon is punching, you've just one of those blues. Be sure to watch those throwing up on your shoes, blues. Your digestion's in question. Here's advice you can use. I hope you take it. Avoid those nasty throwing up on your shoes, blues. If Ralph should call up, you know who I mean. Open the stall up and bring it all up. Leave your sneakers alone. Use the porcelain phone. If you're heaving, stop weaving. You should mind where it spews, really. Don't you risk the throwing up on your shoes, blues. If you're seasick, don't be sick on your shoes for the cruise, topsiders. Just deep six those throwing up on your shoes. If you're scarfing and barfing, just to see what you'll lose. Be careful of those throwing up on your shoes blues. I guess this sums up. Just bring those crumbs up. If trouble comes up, you'll never fail if you puke in a pail. That's pretty bad. Yes, I, I well, it's, that song has a bad effect on people. If your late snack should come back as a spectrum of hues, you'd be sick to want those throwing up on your shoes blues. Thank you, that's a... Yes, I figure there was nobody here to disconcert eating anything that was too chunky. Get that song out of the way for the dinner crowd. The dinner crowd is coming in next. They've just eaten their repast, and they're coming in for a little cabaret, a little supper club entertainment, perhaps. And this is what I have for them. Something smart and sophisticated. Something, something like, a, like a modern love song. Aren't you just hate getting a, an ice cube in your mouth and having to chew it in front of a microphone? Just, it was even worse listening to it. You might want to choose some of the lovely artwork here tonight. It's, it's all beautifully, it's amazing stuff. It's more interesting than this, actually. A lot more went into it. And okay, I'm going to do a song that, that I know somebody hates very, very much, but I'm going to sing it anyway. When pigs play, did I hear you say, well, I feel that way too. When pigs fly, that'll be the day that I'll stop loving you. true to you, dear, no matter what. I'll love you till pigs fly out of my butt. Even though some few might call me a nut, and they'd be being kind, believe me. I'll love you till pigs fly out of my butt. So sure, I'll stay this kosher. I could be gosher and say we'll remain us till pigs fly 
from my anus and it's a feeling I have deep in my gut. Like some people here, I love you, Del Thanks, I had a bad butt. A little resonance, here we go. My heart's full of love and plaque. And in plaque, there's a glut. I'm going to a cardiologist later. I love you, Del Thanks, I had a bad butt. I'm so proud of you, John. Stinkter will exit my sphincter, and even if my throat you offer to cut, and I've had some good offers, believe me. I love you till pigs fly out of my butt. <laughs> yes, that's the pigs fly out of my butt song from Swan Lake. Here's a car song. I guess people aren't in the mood for coffee tonight because it's just sort of a, it's one of those kind of warm summer evenings, which are all too warm. First one we've had in a while, we've got a drought, and sometimes a drought is what drives people away from coffee bars and into the, the the icky, air-conditioned dampness and moistness of their own basement rec rooms to watch reruns of America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> but they're missing a good bet here. All those people, those, those people exploring their nostrils most efficiently. And by God, I wish them luck. Here's to absent friends. I know she's been around the block more than a few times, but say she'll make that same trip a million and two times. So let me kiss my kick her tires and test her shocks. She's a Cinderella upon cinder blocks. I know once I replaced all her fan belts and hoses that she will come to life smelling not unlike roses. So give me that spray loop to free her locks. She's a Cinderella upon cinder blocks. Oh, a few weeks on the lift and a few weeks on my bench. I'll release her hitherto on tap and realize potential. And once I've got her on the road, you can bet that one she'll roar through every thoroughfare except for residential. So though she don't see much, I can tell she's a mean cow. I guess my job right now is to make her a clean cow. When I'm done, she'll look fresh out of the box. She's a Cinderella upon cinder blocks. cinder blocks. She goes so fast I know that I'll soon get a ticket. I'm bound to tell that town cop just where he can stick it. I'll get a healthy workout breaking rocks. She's a Cinderella upon cinder blocks. Oh, a few weeks in the can and a few weeks on probation provides a mandatory pause of county paid vacation during which I'll plan and scheme a better carburation. I'll be spending Something I'm going to be held on. I'll burn up so much rubber, they'll judge me a felon, like at the Utica Marsh. I think I'll choose a box more orthodox. Keep your Cinderella upon cinder blocks. Keep your Cinderella upon cinder blocks. That's Cinderella upon cinder blocks from the novel of the same name. This is an Enduras test for me. Take a 
a bite of biscotti. You got chocolate biscotti. Pardon me? Chocolate biscotti. It's a flavor this is, for a cappuccino. Pardon me? It's a flavor for a cappuccino. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm in heaven. This is, yeah, this is good stuff. You got more cheese you want? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I would actually. You have to watch the artist at rest. No, that's okay. Marching on a biscotti. Beat me up, biscotti. I don't. <laughs> I don't find any signs of life here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> Believe me. Oh, I could do it. Don't know. I've done it before. Oh, here's a good one. I, I'll do this one first. This is dedicated to my favorite teacher, whom I married. Go figure that one out. Uh, no, she wasn't my teacher, but she's a teacher, and she's mine, so in, in a way, she's my <laughs> teacher. <laughs> and she's my favorite teacher, so I'm, I'm going to stop now before she turns this thing off. Here we go. This is dedicated to all the teachers who ever lived anywhere in any time in history. I look into your eyes while you're serving me some fries and boasting of your bachelor's degree. You majored in compliments, thank you, and you speak with grace and wit of struggling to procure your PhD. As you submit each thesis, they tear the thing to pieces. But that's not what must drive you up a tree. You're educated well, yet you work in burger hell. Oh, how could such a sad state come to be? Cause I'm a high school dropout. I left in my junior year. from the kidney you just sold. Well, don't feel so bereft, or you have another left. That one, no doubt, is just as good as gold. I'm sure it's worth the cost of the things that you have lost to understand the things that you behold. Ice cold. Don't mean the carp, but I'm a high school dropout. I quit the eleventh grade. I'm a high school dropout. There are times I wish I had stayed, but here and there I've gained an insight or fact to keep mind and body intact. It doesn't cost much for an autodidact. I'm a high school dropout. Now here's the touching part. No touching, please. Hey. You keep apprising me of the camaraderie among like minds in search of learning fair. Look at what I've missed from not bothering to persist to college and matriculating there. Though 
those frowns last all your life. I, I coughing, might even find a wife. If I, at a kegger function in a frat, you know those things, avoided barfing in her hand. But it is simply grand just to have one's mind expand. No, I don't have an extra buck to spare. Sorry, but I'm a high school dropout. I left ahead of my class. I'm a high school dropout. I know I'm a pain in the ass. Discussing the cosmos and doing just fine with people whose schooling is better than mine as we wait for food stamps to gather in line. That was long, thank you. Yes. This is what, I'm a self-made self man, which should clue you into the, the dangers of, of disorganized labor. So. We've been hitting a lot of garage sales lately, unfortunately. Too many garage sales and too, too few time, too little time, too many words and too few sentences, um, too many thoughts with too few brain cells, that's what I have here. And this is a song about garage sales and I've immersed myself in them. All my most precious souvenirs, which I have cherished low these many years, serve only to remind me we, what we've done. And so I'm selling each and every one. Gee, that was pretty malodorous, but I'll keep going. I'm having a garage sale in my heart. Those things with which I vowed I'd never part are clutter to me now that you have gone. And so I've got them tagged and spread out on the lawn. The words we spoke the very night we met are words right now I just as soon forget. So though it hurts like hell, they're really priced to sell. I'm having a garage sale in my heart. Music for chess. I'm having a garage sale in my heart. Makes your brain cells work. Those treasures I've collected from the start. All mocking sad me since you're away. I'll shine them up a bit and put them on display. Those tender private moments we shared the shattered dreams that cannot be repaired are reasonably cheap but much too dear to keep I'm having a garage sale in my heart Muted. Thank you. Brought it in for a three-pointer. That's fine. In the middle, in the middle of the court. Um, I don't know. It's, well, is this what life's about? That's one of my posters. Ah.
blues number, sort of. I wrote it a couple of years when I was not particularly active in any of... I considered the crossword puzzle the high point of my day. But since then, things have changed, but at what cost? But by the time she left me, my needs were satisfied for the time being, and that's why I'm a celibate male. I needed time to reload. It just got a little stale for oh, this celibate male. I'm not studying for the priesthood. I'm not impotent or gay. I'm just not feeling any major urge to have a lay. You can have just one, that's what I found out, says this celibate male. Till chastity should fail, I'm a celibate male. I'm an open-minded person, there's much I can't condone. But speaking for my own desires, I'd rather sleep alone with nobody else. I'm a celibate male. At peace and the percale, I'm a celibate male. setting at the table, no matter where I go, I can't go Dutch, though I've tried, I'm a celibate male, I date small scale, I'm a celibate male, now you might be quite a looker and you might be quite a dish, but nothing you try is gonna fry this sexual cold fish, I'm a piano tuner with good taste, well I tune this one and a celibate male. It's all to no avail, I'm a celibate male. I'm a celibate male, overweight and a little pale. I'm a celibate male, there's no one whom I'd care to nail. Well, maybe Marilyn Quayle. I'm a celibate male. Let's hear it for celibacy. <laughs> That's a popular cause right now. I love it. Here's another when I do this. This is a cheerful song. A lot of timely topic. Still timely after all these years. I love it when that happens. I write a song about something and it's still current. It's wonderful. She's gone. My life is over cause she's gone. There's just no way that I can carry on. How can I linger? I can't smile. I'll settle things in 90s style. I'll call on that funny old duffer who can end everything that I suffer. Who hit my bag, I've got to pack. 
I've got a date with Dr. Jack. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. He's heard my tale of pain and woe, and he agrees it's time to go. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. He knows my baby left me. He knows why I feel blue, and so the doctor told me I know what I would do if I were you. And so there isn't any doubt. I got my funeral suit picked out. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. Oh, Doc, my baby's been so mean. Break out your suicide machine. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. Just look at every hope I've lost. Start piping in that car exhaust. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. He knows my heart is broken, and it can never mend. And so the doctor told me, a quick and painless end is you, my friend. That's for me, I think. So on that matter, I've been sold. Can't wait until my body is cold. I'll go cavorting with Kevorkian. was Cavorting with Cavorkian by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Boy, was he glad to get rid of it. Biscotti. If you have a problem such as I do, such as when you sit down, you need two airline seats, try our biscotti. It's fat free. Thank you very much. I love a lovely leper right down to my heart and soul. I love a lovely leper. Even though she's not quite whole, no matter what she be, she's girl enough for me. Whichever of her parts are coming free, my sweetie is nearly intact. She's missing two toes to be exact. Her fingers kind of wobbly, but that will never show. As long as she wears shoes and gloves wherever she may go, my sweetie is almost all there. But what she don't have, I don't care. At the wedding we have planned, she'll give me her dainty hand. To the elbow, in fact, my sweetie is nearly intact. My sweetie is nearly intact. Whatever falls off an ice I'm packed. I'm saving every member that she should chance to lose. When we're apart, I count each part to drive away my blues. My sweetie is nearly complete, but what she has left is so neat. How I love her lovely wrist, the cutest stump I've ever kissed. She's made up for what she has lacked. My sweetie is nearly intact. Thank you. That's a that's a partial song. Let me say here. Just so nobody cares about anything in this next song, it's going to be about Utica. Utica, I come from North Utica, the land of Calypso and palm trees.
and the sugar cane.